Hi everybody and welcome to Photo Mike's Garage. Today I'm in my Scion FRS, my 2013 Scion FRS. And it's my FRS that has the electric supercharger of which I've made many videos. And there's quite a few people that watch my videos and then reply in the comments that they don't believe it, they think it's a ripoff, they think that my electric supercharger is a hoax, it's fake, it's not real, and but it is real and I've made a number of videos trying to show proof that it actually does work and this is yet another short video showing that and all I'm gonna do is uh, I've got um, my tablet that I use to change my tunes including a tune I have for my electric supercharger and that is my open flash tablet and that is right here there you go this is the open flash tablet and it is connected to my OBD2 connector right now so it's reading all the uh, the parameters of the engine and right now I have it uh, the page open on the boost page and right now the car is idling I've got negative uh, 10 uh, PSI of boost because it's idling and throttle blades are closed and we're running under vacuum actually and I'm going to try to run on the streets my local streets right here as you can see and if I can I'm going to do like an acceleration test where I will attempt to show that I'm producing boost now if the car uh, did not have any kind of supercharger or any kind of thing like that it will not be able to achieve any boost at all but this car will achieve boost now it's not a huge amount of boost obviously because it's an electric supercharger and um, it only produces so much power um, but I'm trying to I'm trying to show that it does produce the boost and does produce usable uh, power for me. Okay, but first, a quick overview of my car in case you haven't seen some of my earlier videos. And I'll put links below to some of the ones that explain in more detail what I have here. But basically what I've got is an electric supercharger. This is plumbed directly into the intake. This is the cold side of a regular turbo. The hot side's been taken off, a machine plate, a plate has been machined here to attach a hobby motor. This is a brushless motor, a very high performance um, radio controlled helicopter motor. This, this motor spins at 55,000 RPM. That spins the turbo, the impeller inside here, enough to produce up to five PSI of boost. So as you can see, Air comes in the regular way and goes into the cold side of the turbo and then is pushed into the motor, producing five PSI, a boost. This is the control box. This controls the charging of the batteries, the recharging of the batteries, as well as uh, the output to the electric motor. Okay, the batteries. I don't know if you can see underneath here, we've got three actual batteries here. One, two, and three. This battery operates the regular starter motor and electrics of the car. These two batteries are devoted to the electric motor on the electric supercharger. These two batteries are hooked up in series, producing 24 volts. And this is a 5,000 watt electric motor and that can spin up to 55,000 RPM as I already mentioned. So the concept is very simple. All right, let's go. Now currently my, my little trusty GoPro, my new Hero, my Hero 7, is showing the boost gauge on the open flash tablet. I've just got to find a road where it's not too busy where I can do a few full throttle pulls and see what kind of boost that we get here today. Okay, I'm in third gear at about 2,500 RPM and I'm gonna put the throttle down right now. Here we go. All right, I can feel the boost. Electric supercharger time. <laughs> Okay, I'm in third gear. Let's produce some boost. All right. That's just a little hit. 
now I gotta turn around. Okay, the light's starting to go down, but I'm gonna try one more, one more run here. It's not exactly the ideal conditions to do this. I'm sort of in a farm area, but uh, at least there's not too many people around. Okay, I'm in fourth gear. I got 28.3 volts showing, and Okay, and let's go. That was boost. That was boost. That was definitely boost. You saw it. You saw it. Okay, obviously I'm going to have to do a better job. I'll try the same thing on a better day in a better situation, but I just wanted to make a quick uh, little video showing that the Phantom Electric Supercharger does produce boost and um, that it's quite fun, I must say. Yeah, I know that the the FRS, the 86, the BRZ, they're not made to make huge horsepower. I get it, I know it. Um, they're made for handling, for the driving experience, for the being one with the car. And I fully get that, I understand that. And I really like that. Here we go. <laughs> And then let's accelerate out of this corner. All right, but there's nothing wrong with having a little bit more power. Right now, the, the power level of the stock FRS is it's kind of embarrassing. So this electric supercharger that I've got adds just that bit more and it makes quite a difference gives you the ability to merge onto highway traffic without too much hassle. The ability to pass a minivan without sweating. Really all this car needs is just a little bit more horsepower. And that's what my Phantom electric supercharger gives me. As you can see, my voltage gauge at 28.2. It's uh, normally that's at about 28.4 or 5, so it's a little low right now. I'm not sure exactly why. And beautiful country around here. I hope I'm not disturbing anybody. Okay, one more time. Let's try and produce some boost for you people. And here we go. Okay, that really wasn't that great acceleration, but you can see that it produced boost. I got up to four PSI boost and it rapidly fell off this time. Um, it's pretty hot out today, so maybe that's affecting things, but there you have it. I think I have shown everybody, all the doubters, that the Phantom Electric Supercharger does produce boost. And if you got boost, you got horsepower. So there you go. And remember, I'm not trying to say that this is the same as a regular turbo or supercharger system. It is not. It will not produce the same amount of horsepower, but it's very effective for the price. Anyway, thanks for watching Photo Mike's Garage. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Living out in the country here. Yes, indeed. Here we go.